Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we bulk upload lookup types as well as values. So let's see the logic. The first thing you have to understand is we want to load the bulk values. We want to load the bulk lookup values and Oracle has provided a concept similar to a BDI. It's not exactly a BDI, but a file-based import. So as per the Oracle documentation, so we have a couple of columns to be provided when you want to load the lookup type. So the, for example, for the lookup type file, so we have around four required columns to be provided when we want to load the lookup file. So the mandatory columns like lookup type, lookup meaning, and the description you can ignore, and the module type as well as module key. And lookup type and look meaning are the generally user-defined values. Description also user-defined values. But you have to mention the standard module type as well as module key. If you are not aware of what is a module type and module key, what we can do is you can just search the information in the standard Oracle screen. From there, we can get the information. So while uploading the file, I'll show you. And the next one is the lookup value. And the lookup value file, in the lookup value file, right? So here, if you observe, it has a couple of more value, more columns, I mean to say. And here, the lookup type, that's nothing but the parent re parent record information, lookup code, and the meaning, and the display sequence, enable flag, or mandatory. Remaining things are optional. And also, it has some more extra information, like uh, if you observe, right? In this example, you can see tag, sequence, context, nothing but you have a DFF values also provided, OK? So now, in our sample today, we'll just try to upload only the lookup values which are mandatory. So we'll just ignore the remaining one. Now let us see the format or the steps involved in preparing the file as well as performing import. The first and foremost important thing is the values in the file should be separated by a piping symbol. And the file extension, preferably it should be .csv. And even if it is text also, it will work. OK, it should be either CSV or text. That's the best thing. And then the next step is you have to load the file into the UCM. And then once you load the file into the UCM, you have to perform the import from the manage common lookup task in the in the search result. You can see in the table region, you have an option called action. And then you click on import. Once you click on import, it shows a pop-up wherein you have to mention the account. This is the account for which you have already uploaded the file into the UCM, as we mentioned here in the third step. Okay, And you have to mention the account name. And similarly, you have to mention the exact file name, what you have provided while uploading the file into the UCM, OK? So now let's start with uh, loading a lookup type. So the first thing is, let us say if you want to load the lookup file, what you have to do is you have to go, go to the tools, file, import, and export. And then you have to upload a file, choose the file from your local system, and mention the account. It can be any of the valid account you can select here. And I have selected the fin general ledger import and then click on save and close. The file will get imported into the UCM. This is a first step. Once you load the file to UCM, the next step is you have to navigate to the manage common lookups. And then in this particular search result, click on action, click on import. And then in the account, you select the fin general ledger import, the one we have selected while uploading our file. Mention the exact file name of the lookup file and then perform upload. And the step will upload the data, like uh, it will say import completed and check out the log file. And in the log file, it will clearly provide the information if it is loaded or not, if it is errored, what is the information. So we'll be following the same exact process for the lookup values also. Same thing, like uh, go to the UCM import and upload the file, lookup values, and then go to the manage common lookups and load the lookup values. So you can generally we call it as lookup codes or you can consider as lookup values. Okay. While loading a lookup values or a code, you don't require to upload the lookup type file again. Okay. Or let us say if you are if the lookup type is already not available, you can mention the two files at a time. Okay. Now let us see the same logic while like in the real time while uploading to our instance. So this is my lookup type file. So I'll mention my lookup type as the name as three. Look this is one of my lookup name. I'll just name it as or I'll look up three. And here also I'll mention as lookup three. And yeah, so this also let's consider three. So here I just mentioned the values lookup type, meaning, description, module type, and module key. But how do I get all this information? You can just navigate to the manage common lookup task. So here if you observe. Generally, if you want to create a lookup type, what do you require? You require a lookup type meaning, and then you require a module. So let's observe here. Let's say 
I'll just click on plus symbol and I'll say text is my lookup name. And here you have to mention this information. Now let's say I'll click on search here. And you can click on advanced and you can add the field. You can get the module key also here. Let us say in our case, we mentioned FND as our module key and click on search. And the module type, yeah, this equals is select it as. And the module type, we have mentioned it as application and module key, we have to mention as module type we mentioned as application and module key we mentioned as FND. But as per your requirement, you can mention the appropriate one. But this is a way, this is the easiest way you can find out what is the module type and module key you want to mention. Okay. Now I'll just click on as of now, it's okay that you click on save or cancel. I'll say save it. So these are the four, man this is like a lookup type meaning and module type and module key, the four mandatory parameters you have to mention, okay? And now what we do is similarly, we'll prepare the lookup values. And in the lookup values, what we require, we require the value, we require the information of our lookup type, okay? So, so this one should be four, okay? Now, similarly, this is my lookup values file. So in the lookup values file, file, you require the lookup type information. So this is the lookup type information. And let's say I want to load only just two values for my lookup type. Okay. Now, the next step, what we do is we'll navigate to the file import and export, which will be available in the tool section. And here, just click on plus symbol or add icon and select the file. Let's say, I'll select here and look up type ping general ledger import. You can select any account, but I'm just going with fin general ledger import. Okay, now click on action import. Same thing, fin general ledger import. And now here you have to mention the file name. Look up file, look up type dot text. Click on upload. It will upload the file within a couple of seconds. And you can just click on download file. Check out the log information. Okay, it says total record process two. It perfectly inserted. But how do you validate? You can just Select the lookup name, lookup information here. Let's say lookup type. Okay, it got inserted just now, and you can try again. The other one also, it got also inserted. Now let's upload the other file. Lookup value, pin gender ledger, import got imported into the UCM. Now click on actions, import, same thing, pin general ledger import. Mention the file name of your lookup value. You don't need to mention lookup type again. Click on upload. Now I can just click on download file and see if, if it loaded or not. It got loaded successfully and we have loaded only for the first lookup, not for the second lookup, right? So I'll just search for the first lookup, 003, right? We're able to load the two lookup values for the XX or LKP 003. So this is how we can upload the lookup codes and lookup values and you can have n number of records and you can also perform update also, okay? Thank you.